Today on our 2004 Nissan Murano, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number 13571. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four and three quarter inches. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 14 and a quarter inches. This will assist you selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with installation. Now to install our hitch, we'll first need to lower the exhaust. To lower the exhaust, we'll first remove the two fasteners that secure the exhaust hanger at the rear axle. Then, to safely lower exhaust and help support the weight, we'll put a safety strap underneath to secure the exhaust once we remove all the fasteners. Next, we'll move to the passenger side, or once again, we'll remove the fasteners to remove the hanger from the frame. For this location, there'll be a total of four fasteners. Once we remove the bolts, the exhaust bracket will come free. Next, we'll move over to the driver's side, where there'll be two rubber isolators that we'll remove from the metal hangers. To remove them, we'll use some spray lubricant and then our pry bar to remove the rubber isolator from the exhaust hanger. Now that the exhaust is free, we can use the safety strap to safely lower the weight of the exhaust. Now that we have access to the frame, we can go ahead and remove the tow hook on the driver's side. To remove the tow hook, there are four fasteners that secure it to the frame. Two in the bottom, and two in the side. Now with those removed, we'll go ahead and set the hardware and tow hook aside as it will not be reinstalled. Now with the exposed frame rails on both sides, we can go ahead and point out the attachment points. We have a total of five attachment points, three on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. All five of our attachment points will be well nuts built into the frame by the manufacturer. Noting that the forward attachment point on the driver's side is also used for the tow hook. The threads will be cleaned and it'll be a different size. This will be the eight millimeter. Our other four attachment points will be 12 millimeter bolts along with the conical tooth washers, keeping in mind the teeth of the washer will face the hitch. Now, before we can install the hitch in our new fasteners, we'll want to clean out the old well nuts. To do this, we'll use some spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092. Quick tech tip, in extreme cases where the rust buildup is severe, it may be necessary to use a thread tap to thoroughly clean out any buildup that is on the threads. And once that's done, we can then go ahead and take one of the new fasteners and thread it into the weld nut to make sure it'll go nice and easily. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fastener. We'll install each fastener finger tight, and then we'll go ahead and run them down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instruction. And now with the hitch secured and torque the specifications, we can go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. And with that resecured, this will complete the install of our Kurt Hitch part number 13571 on our 2004 Nissan Murano.